Oh man, we got a busy day today. I want to plant my soybeans. I would like to do a, a little bit of double crop into my oat stubble over there, but oh man, look at all this stuff I need to move. I need to get the loader off, get the planter, move all my equipment here, uh, probably pressure wash off my 4440. Man, is it going to be a busy day today? Let's get to it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Missouri series here. I just love this map. What a beautiful map. Love this roleplay. Love the opportunities this roleplay is opening up for this series. And the views are up. That means you guys are enjoying it too, I hope. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all your support, your comments, all your likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, just a little heartfelt message there. So we have a busy, busy day. Like I said before, so I would like to plant some soybeans into my oat, oat stubble here. If you can see, like, look, the corn head is in front of the planter. Uh, we need to move the harvester. We need to move the sassy massy. Oh, man, we need to move the versatile. Uh, we need to get the loader off of the 83 here so we can put the fertilizer tanks on there oh my goodness we got so much stuff i need a pressure wash all the cultivating man so i still got some more cultivating to do i have always enjoyed i always enjoy cultivating it is one of my favorite pastimes i know that sounds a little stupid and you might like uh why that's just boring all you do is go back and forth in the field but i don't know it's just something about the simpleness some it's so easy to do it's you know relaxing i've always enjoyed it wish i could do it again i know it's kind of almost a lost art in farming just because diesel prices uh chemicals can do do the job just as well not many farmers do it anymore but man i wish i wish i could still uh drive that tractor back and forth staring at my tire between the rows so before we get into the equipment shuffle, we need to spray the oats stubble a little bit. Basically put a little uh, bit of burn down on it so that way we can plant right into it. So we are all get that sprayer. You know, it's kind of stupid. I am so close to the field that I just use this truck and everything, but it's kind of nice having a uh, tinder tank right next to you and also i mean the the haggy's already loaded on the trailer we'd have to unload it and then drive it down which we could just drive the truck down then unload it but i i understand it's probably a little bit pointless to you know for my operation to pull this around but if you know i'm trying to custom spray a little bit here which is why i i keep everything on the trailer and ready to go but haven't got many offers i mean i've been advertising everywhere social media even i went old school and put the newspaper i mean who does that anymore i don't know i do i haven't got any calls so i don't know if it's worth it i wouldn't recommend it right now at least start the old kinworth up here Ooh. i don't know why my sprayer has the shakes all of a sudden All right, I made my half a mile journey there. I know, I know, I know. It's already on the trailer, leave me alone. All right, so we basically are gonna be planning right into our little uh, tall stubble. So, gonna do a little no tilling, I guess. We actually, if you see, we probably should have put the head down a little bit further. Wasn't really planting on, planting double crops into it at that time, so, but, now, hopefully I don't plug up the planter. That might be a little issue. Drive this old Haggy off our trailer there. Here we go. Get into the stubble. Spray it really quick. Hopefully get on our way. Ooh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Can't unfold right there. 
Put the boom in a tree. Running at a fast pace, about 18 mile an hour. So uh, this field is not that big, so this doesn't take really that long. So it's pretty easy to spray a lot of acres in one day. Spraying is kind of fun to me. The only thing I hate about spraying is dealing with the chemicals. Chemicals are no joke. I have been sick many times. When I was a young kid, I probably didn't get enough uh, safety advice prior to messing with chemicals, and there's been a few times where I might have some after effects from it. You guys probably already see them after effects, but it is what it is. Yeah. Make sure you follow the OSHA guidelines when you're dealing with these uh, nasty chemicals in the spray. Just like that, we are already done. I probably shouldn't be driving when I'm voting that. That's probably pretty hard on my linkages right there, so. There we go. Of course, we're gonna trailer it because we got a long drive back to the farmyard. I know, I know, I'm weird. So, we're done with that 10 minute task. Literally, it only took us 10 minutes. If you work real closely, you might see a little spoiler alert. All right, so I gotta pressure wash off my 4440 here so I can uh, basically park that. Like I said, I still have a few more cornfields. I want to cultivate just because I want to cultivate. Probably not a huge reason to do it. Clean this off, make it look pretty. So Jim took the other cultivator back. Jim's actually going to cultivate some of his corn. He enjoyed it so much where he said he's going to cultivate his corn. So, uh, like I said, I mean, we don't really need two cultivators, so it's kind of just a gift. And it will technically still be ours, but Jim is borrowing it. You know what? It would be kind of cool to see that planter on this uh, Versatile. The only issue, no three-point hitch. If you know our planter over here, our Harvest International planter, it's a 16 row. It is one heavy beast. It is, it takes all of that Three point that, that hydraulics on this at 83 scream every time it's lifting up that thing and the front the back tires squat a little bit front tires lift up yep 83 gets it done but it it screams a little bit the hydraulic pumps are spewing up and they're just screaming trying to catch up lift that heavy old planter up but it would be nice to have on this heavy frame versatile run that uh, big heavy but it's not the easiest to put a three-point hitch it is definitely not easy putting on a PTO on this versatile it is not an easy task whatsoever uh, take some gear sh so basically you have to run some type of linkage to the back there from the engine it's not an easy task so don't know if we'll ever do that it would be nice so I can use it on my uh, so I could use it on my grain cart possibly I think it'd be a better grain cart tractor but right now it's just uh, limited to basically mostly tillage fire this beast up you know looking in front of me looks like I should probably move the 4440 first We'll move this out of the way quickly and get in. Then we can move the versatile. Probably just leave this parked over here to the side. Side parking of our shop here. Out of the way of the doors. Yes, yes, I know you're beautiful. I love my fleet side. We'll put this in our Quonset. I really don't know what what they're trying to do with that dash there. Is that is that supposed to be wood or like a marble appearance? Not sure. Never seen that in a versatile dash, but might just be the models I was in. This versatile does not have a fast reversing gear. I mean, we go kind of slow. 
Oh yeah, forgot. We're gonna have to hook up our planting track, or uh, planting a uh, trailer too. We'll have to move our pressure wash. Man, there's just so much stuff to move around. Got a lot of shuffle. We're gonna have to start up the harvester. Oh, where do I want to put the head? Oh wow. Yep, getting this planter out is not an easy task. Where? I guess I'm just gonna park it in the middle of the dirt. Move this out of the way. Gotta be extra careful moving this out the door. Really gotta use these mirrors. Problem is, is I'm not even picking up the sides of the door, so it makes it hard. Oh yeah. Like I said, it's awful tight. Wow. Yeah. It's tight. There we go. Got that undone. Got that out. Unhitch this quickly. Alright, we are unhitched now. Now we gotta hook up to the corn head. Move out of the way. I probably should have planned plant for beans. Probably not the smartest uh, management. Wasn't really thinking when I put the bean planter and everything in front of it. Of course, we're gonna plant uh, our beans with our row crop planter. All right, corn head is on. So this eight row corn head, which is good with a 16 row planter, isn't near as wide as Oh, I almost hit my chemical boxes. Backing up the whole time with my uh, horn head down. I'm sure some of you were screaming at me. So, of course, yeah, we could fold this, but it's not worth putting the extra strain on the linkages just for this short period. So, fits nicely through our big door. Alright, we'll leave the old case. Where do I want to put this loader at now? Hmm. I think I'll put this over there by my other shop. Getting a lot of equipment out in this yard, that's for sure. Speaking of which, I need to make sure I spray off my sprayer. Basically, pressure wash all that chemical off of it so it doesn't uh, corrode that sprayer. You get a nice rusty sprayer and just one spray really quick if you don't get that nasty stuff off. Highly, highly corrosive stuff. Nasty stuff. Definitely don't want it on your skin. Or definitely don't want it in your belly. Not anything good. Alright, we got everything hooked up in the front. The chemical uh, tanks on here. And we just gotta hook up our uh, heavy old planter over here. Got our monitors in here and everything. All right, so I got the planter hooked up, just making sure I'm looking it over. So we'll probably pull it out. Just, I mean, look at that. Look at that squat. That is serious. So we did put all the weights on front of this thing. So we got every single suitcase weight I could find around the farm. So we can't put another one on this thing. And we still got the squat going on like crazy. But, uh... We'll get this out, fold it off, get that uh, weight off the hydraulics. Alright, the planter's folded down now, so we're going to set it all. we got to set it to beans, which is a few modifications. We have to put different uh, seed wheels on it, so and fill it up with beans, of course. It's the most important part of this whole thing. Uh, we got to get the vacuum out here so we could suck out uh, all the remaining corn we had in it. Look at that beautiful beast. So it doesn't squat once you have all that weight off, surprisingly. But uh, I really like this planter, even though it's heavy framed and it, it's no joke. 
16 row planter off the back of your three point hitch is no joke. That's a lot of weight, especially a uh, center feel like this. We'll start looking at that. Uh, you guys are probably wondering, is my cousin still sick? Yeah, she's still sick. She's still isolating herself over there. Self-quarantine, I guess. Uh, she just has an upper respiratory uh, infection, I guess. Uh, I don't think it's nothing serious, but hopefully she gets well soon. Very soon. All right. Uh, I wonder, can I pull this trailer out of there? I know it's going to be a little weight, but we do have a wheel on our little uh, the, our uh, jack right there, so we might be able to. Just uh, I'm going to pull it across the garage. Uh, does that give me enough room? All right, I think I got enough room now. Get our beautiful uh, high boy here. Not really a high boy, but I call it that because it sure looks like an old high boy uh, cultivator tractor, sprayer tractor. I, they, I believe they made high boys for spraying and cultivating, but I'm not sure. I'm mostly probably spraying. Our uh, 4620 over there on the auger right now is a high boy. All right. That trailer is hooked up. I'll get this to the field here quickly. Hopefully get to, ooh, watch out for my uh, draper head there. Hopefully get to uh, planting. All right, like I said, I'm hoping I don't clog up that planter. So I'm definitely gonna have to, uh, my uh, row cleaners probably run them a little bit deeper than what I usually do. Most of the time, I don't want to run them too deep because it basically leaves a little uh, burrow. You want to plant almost completely flat if you can. At least I do. Uh, probably should have just threw my three-wheeler on the back of this if I was thinking so I didn't have to walk all the way back to the farm. Oh well. Always good for a healthy walk in a beautiful summer day. I know, I know. I probably forgot, oh yeah, I forgot to uh, feed them. I'll make sure I feed them tonight before I go to bed after uh, get done planting. Hopefully it won't be a late night for their sake. Fire this heavy beast up. Hey, look at that, all that squat down there. Fold it up. Put the old hazards on. We're about ready to drive a half mile. Yeah, we could still turn, but you could tell, I mean, there isn't a lot of weight on them front uh, tires up there, if you can tell how easy it turns. Really get the hops when you're going at fast speeds like this, with all the weight misbalanced on the tractors like that. So you can't go full speed. So I do have disc like basically right in front kind of cut up all the residue that which might really help so that way uh, it doesn't plug up so basically they cut it nice and cut it knife and then each row planer either shoots it to one side or the other which helps with clogging up especially when you're dealing with a lot of residue like we're gonna be dealing with All right, let's see, we're planting away here. We'll get out really quick, check our depth. All right, just planting away now. I know I'm just starting a random, I'm just gonna start a row here. I just wanted to make sure this wasn't gonna be too much of an issue before we did all the headlands first. really tell where our uh, harvesters are at right here you can see their rows through the stubble definitely got a lot of uh, compaction this thing is definitely pulling hard probably wish I would have got a 84.30 or 85 but especially for this planter 
Uh, if you could see our uh, booms are down, you could really tell on that side, but we I think we got a little plug up here. Yeah, that planter's all cockeyed. I need to get this double. Looks like we got a few uh, roll cleaners clogged up. Uh, I don't know. I mean, now we're at the point of do we just tough it out or do we get the cultivator out here and try to break up some of this uh, residue, but I don't know. I think we should plan a little bit longer before we call it quits. This is going to be very annoying if I have to keep on cleaning out this planter constantly, but uh, it'll be, it'll get done today somehow. Might say a few four letter words, but uh, yeah, we'll get this cleaned out, get back to planting. Alright, we are planting away here, so everything, I've only had one other clog up, which uh, wasn't that bad to be honest. I don't, I think I could have just uh, basically uh, reversed and went ahead, but I ended up uh, basically unclogging it. It was only like three rows, so uh, I know I kind of doing this unorchid unorthodox because I should be already have the end rows so my shutoffs would be working but uh like I said I was a little bit worried about clog clog ups so I wasn't for sure if I wanted to plant the end rows right off the get go uh we got quite a bit planted already so uh doesn't take long especially uh with this uh rig here uh, good setup. We are almost out of fertilizer, so we'll have to go get fill up here soon. Beans, you know, we beans. It takes a lot of seeds. You plant high population when you plant beans, so you have to do multiple fill ups. But uh, other than that, we're almost done with this little corner here. Oh yeah, we got a bad clog up right now. Whew. Oh yeah. Yep. This is going to be a while. I'm going to have to get a screwdriver, probably a ball ping hammer, a uh, hay fork. Oh my goodness. This is not going to be easy getting this mess out of here. Ugh. Yeah, look at this side. It's all clogged up and balled up like that. This is not going to be easy. And it's going to be a while gonna need a snickers yeah yep definitely got a little dirty cleaning up that mess yeah got some dirt in between my fingernails oh well that's how farmers are supposed to live like I think I'm gonna start doing the in rows basically I know we waited a while to do them but I wasn't for sure if I'm gonna need to cultivate the field if the residue was gonna give me too much of a nightmare that uh clog up was the third clog up i've had so 
wasn't horrible. Uh, definitely a little uh, annoyance when you have to get out, uh, slow your operation down, and unclog, especially when you're in a nice AC tractor like this, dust proof. Get your hands and uh, clothes dirty, but I don't care about getting dirty. I'm just one of them people, I was always dirty as a kid. I was, you know, covered in mud, grease, dirt, and I did not care. Not care my appearance, but uh, just cleaned up well, but wasn't afraid to get dirty, that's for sure. We are almost done. I think what we are probably just over halfway done. I think once I get over there by the truck, I'll fill up with some fertilize top off my center field tanks there but we will be done with uh, double crops but thank y'all for watching and I will see you later over here in Missouri thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe Just got done with this field planting. Gonna hop this ditch. Woo! Whoa! Oh, I thought I was gonna get a little air in my front end there, especially how heavy this planter is. But uh, make sure you don't forget to like the video. Thank y'all.